Hello YouTube and subscribers uh, today. I had this tea and I wanted to make uh, well a new aquaponics, bioponics, whatever. Um, so what I did is I glued in here that side I glued in a piece of 40 mil on the outside here I glued a piece of 50 after I heated it up and I thermoformed it over it then I made it all level then I had a piece of strong grain I cut it put it in the oven let it heat up put it between two pieces of wood and let it cool so I now it's a little small piece of that also this is part from a cable blend nut it's using electricity so you can put a cable through there or a piece of 50 mil and if you tighten it it's watertight so what I did this is a little bit too big for 40 as you can see kind of put it in so I took it a little bit off it would fit in then I put this on there and I glued it put it in between here and then I glued it all together so now this is one, one piece basically I can put this one now in and I can of course put electrical tape plumber's tape or put an o-ring there and it will be watertight I know this from experience That one in there. Okay. So then I want to have a stand pipe to put it in. As high as you want. Doesn't matter. It keeps being adjustable. Now it's pretty tight. Still it's it's adjustable. After that I have this piece of aquarium tubing. Pretty small. It's going to be a small system of course. I had a piece of thermoformed PVC which goes into 15, like that, like that's there. And on the outside, here's a ring, and it's thermoformed outside 15 mil, like that. In between, I put a mesh uh, from uh, plastering, uh, reinforcement, whatever stuff like that, I don't know if you have it in the States or Australia or whatever anyway, a mesh to prevent um, hydroton from plugging up my drains which happened in the past, I can tell you so this goes in here it's a snug little fit so this is the stem pipe this is going to be a siphon I'm not going to cut it I will do it when I have the table made where the grow beds or the buckets go in and here well, like this this is going to be the feed and the drain and I was thinking about like having little buckets this is yogurt buckets uh, buckets, I like Turkish yogurt or Greek yogurt for that matter this one is perforated, it goes into here the hydroton and the plant goes in here so if I want to take the plant and the hydroton out the system is well very easily cleaned so I have 10 buckets of these maybe maybe 20, I don't know screw them all in this pipe somewhere the pipe gets heated, it goes, the water goes up and then it's a siphon starts kicking in, it all drains back into the sun well, I think that's about it will I leave something out? no, I don't think so ok, that's it, see ya